Hello Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I have two super exciting boxes that I can't wait to break into. These are both from the Japanese Sailor Moon fan club uh, website, which is Pretty Guardians. If you are a member of the Japanese version of the Sailor Moon fan club, then you get access to a whole slew of different products. Um, I know exactly what these products are, however, I'm going to tease it for you. So I won't tell you exactly what they are just yet, uh, but this does give you access to Sailor Moon store resells, limited edition items, uh, special figures, all sorts of different things. Now, if you do want a comparison of both the Pretty Guardians fan clubs, whether that's overseas or Japanese, definitely check out my website with my YouTube channel uh, so that you can see that comparison because I did compare the overseas version and the Japanese version of them over on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Sailor Snubs. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up these two boxes since they do have some pretty exciting things in them. And I wanna keep this video somewhat short because my neighbor next door is working on a whole bunch of like I don't know hardware and tools and stuff in their backyard so they keep on making a ton of noise and it's really irritating so I'm gonna get this done and show you all the cool things and then I will go probably play some video games or something with my husband Okay, so we have box number one unboxed. Uh, so this is from box number one from the King eShop on the Pretty Guardians fan club Japanese version of the website. Uh, these are currently for sale over in the Sailor Moon store for about 650 yen or so, which is like $6, uh, sometimes 700 yen. Uh, but yeah, they're super, super cute. Um, I got one of them because my friend went to the Sailor Moon store and he bought me the little Sailor Moon. Uh, Otadama, uh, and then I kind of fell in love, so I decided to go ahead and collect the rest of them. So these were the ones that they had in stock through the Sailor Moon fan club. Any of the other ones that I'm currently trying to collect, I'm probably going to go through my proxy and hopefully get them through that. I keep on petting these. They were just really, really soft. I like what they're made out of. The fabric is so soft. So I have five of them here that were in stock. There's Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, and Venus from the original collection of the Otedamas. And then I also have from the Sailor Moon Stars Otedama collection, uh, Sailor Star Maker. Uh, so these are the only ones that I was able to get. And I am hoping to collect the rest of the line because I do think that they are so, so cute. Uh, they look like little sushi balls. <laughs> which I think is adorable and they also have like little bean bags on them so that they sit still whenever you set them on top of each other. You can stack them too since they're all the same size and I'm dropping them now but I think you get the point. Super soft, very cute. Uh, they come with all the little pieces of the design from the Sailor Scout uniform which I think is really adorable and they have the printed bows on the front of their fuku as well although you won't see that when they're laying down next to each other. So they're cute! Now let's open up box number two. All right, so box number two just has two different things in the box. They look exactly the same on the front, uh, but these are a collaboration by Q-Pot, which was made specifically for Pretty Guardians members. So it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon, Dear Sailor Moon Official Fan Club Pretty Guardians on the front. And then there's a cute little like kind of a Luna emblem at the top. We have in gold foil her ears and a little crescent moon. And then we also have the silhouette of the Pretty Guardians logo on the front too. These are shaped to look kind of like books. So when you open them, you open them like a Japanese book, which is from the left to the right, such as so. Now on the inside, we do have some really beautiful manga art by Naoko Takeuchi, and this is just of Sailor Moon. And then you have your jewelry item. So the reason why I got two of these is because one is a necklace and one is a keychain. However, both the necklace and the keychain have the exact same design. So these are based off of Sailor Moon's transformation brooch. I'll go ahead and show you the keychain first so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So on the front, you see that we have a whole bunch of really big Swarovski crystals and they are super, super sparkly. On the center, of course, we have uh, the Sailor Moon crystal, which is just a clear one. I hate my neighbor. I need to move to like the forest or something where I don't have to deal with loud neighbors. 
So around the edges of this Sailor Moon designed keychain by Coupot, we have uh, little Swarovski crystals that stand for the four inner senshi. So we have Mars, Venus, Mercury, and Jupiter. Now this is supposed to look like a macaroon. It is really nice heavy duty uh, rubber and metal and other different materials used in this cute little keychain. It's highly, highly gorgeous, I would say, and very, very sparkly. On the back of it, there's a cute little Q, and then along the edges where you would normally see like the inside of a macaroon, it says pretty, Dear Pretty Guardians, made in Japan, Naoko Takeuchi, and Q-Pot Sailor Moon. The necklace, as far as the transformation brooch looks like, it looks exactly the same. So you have all the same Swarovski crystals on here, you have the same macaroon design, uh, and then you have the necklace itself. The necklace itself is gold, so really, really pretty gold. And up at the top, uh, nothing super special, it just says Made in Japan and Q-Pot for the little clasp up at the top. So I thought that both of these were really, really cool collector's pieces, and I'm very happy that I was able to find them, uh, especially since it was so easy this time. Usually if you want to buy Q-Pot stuff, it's extremely hard because their website likes to go down whenever they release Sailor Moon items, because everybody wants to buy them. So those will definitely make a wonderful component to my collection collection for sure. And if you're wondering how much those cost, I believe the necklace was 16,000 yen, which would be like $160, and the keychain was 14,000, I believe. So 140 USD just about. So comment below if you have any questions about these items or if you want more clarification on them. I got some $6 things and some $160 things. So very, very different ranges in this episode. Uh, but let me know if you liked it. Like and subscribe if you are not already. I really appreciate all the support on this channel. And of course, if you want to support me further, my link to my Patreon account for crowdfunding is down below as well, where you can get access to a bunch of high-res travel photos, a lot of which are from Japan too. So enjoy those if you feel like supporting me there. And thank you again so much. With that said, I am Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Jenny.